Does Sunday morning service have to happen in a building? I was raised as a Jehovah Witness and had five meetings a week, plus field service, three days to four days a week. And recently, my 16-year-old said to me that he doesn't think it's fair that I make him do certain things. Because when I was a child and was made to do certain things, now as an adult, I don't do it. Hence, I was made to go to the Kingdom Hall, and now I don't go to the Kingdom Hall as an adult. So part of me was a little bothered by him even using that as, as, as a reason to talk about the things that we were talking about that I was annoyed with from him. But what it also did was share a little of my truth with him and say, no, the reason why I don't go to the Kingdom Hall now as an adult has nothing to do with my training as a child. The reason why I don't go to the Kingdom Hall now as an adult is because I'm lazy. And I use the excuse that I watch my Sunday morning service on Channel 5 every Sunday at 930 with Joe Osteen. And his messages are always on point. But what got me thinking was, is that still an excuse that I'm using not to give my children the same foundation that I had as a child? Because I tell you now, as much as I was annoyed as a child about going to the Kingdom Hall, I swear that it really helped uh, define who I am today as an adult. And it really gave me a foundation that I truly do believe saved my life. So am I now taking that routine away from my children because of my own laziness? Is it enough that I have my Sunday morning service on, on Channel 5 and then from whatever message I get, display and give to my children and, and live that lifestyle so they get the messages from example and not just from, okay, you read this book and you had to study every week and you had to come up with an answer so that you can be a part of the, the dialogue or the comic or conversation at the Kingdom Hall on Sundays or Tuesdays or Wednesday, whenever it is that we have meetings. Now, I know 20 years later, the organization, from what I hear, has changed. It's not as many meetings. The meetings are not as long. Okay, great. But me not going is still fact, no matter how long or short the meetings are. So my question is, not am I a bad parent, but how do you continue to feed or give your children what they need that you got as a young person, even though you fought your parents against the, the nourishment that they were trying to give you? How do you make sure that you're not using the excuse of, well, I don't want to do the same thing my parents did and still give them the foundation that they need to understand why your parents did what they did. For whatever good, bad or you know, reason that they had, you know, do you now lose something because you're not giving your kids the same thing? And I ask this question to a lot of the grown Jehovah Witness kids out there now that I see online or I see on Facebook that I grew up with, that partake in birthday parties, that partake in, you know, holiday festivities. I wonder, you know, what's the disconnect from the way that we was raised to how you now raise your children? You know, no judgment, no shade, just curious, you know, um, because I don't I don't celebrate holidays. Um, but I, I do feel a kind of way that, you know, I do take things away from my children. Or because I don't celebrate it, then I, I'm okay with the fact that they get to still experience it with with my husband. So it's still like, well, I'm not doing it, you know, but they still get it. So these, you know, I still haven't come up with a name for my thought. You know, I just know that I want to keep it under the five minute period. And I want you guys to join in by saying to me, Kat, I, I, I agree with you or I disagree or the reason why I don't or the reason why I do, because I'm, I'm curious to see, you know, is there a disconnect? Um, are, are we using, are we making excuses? Are we feeling secure just in what we've learned as adults that we could just give the message to our kids without taking them to the kingdom hall? So share with me your thoughts. This is Kat from the Kitty Rose Lifestyle. Y'all all know my saying, the revolution has begun because it will not be televised. So it's, all, it's up to us to share this dialogue, to open up this dialogue, to have something to say and not just having something to say, but having a solid action plan on how to fix the problem. I'm out.